Hello, in this video we are going to cover the slider object. The slider object could be used for, on a setting screen, you can slide how much volume you want to play in terms of how loud you want it to be. So range between 0 and 100, maybe you just want to decrease volume or increase it depending on where you are. So that's an example of where you could use a slider. There's so many other examples as well. So to just add a slider, just drag it on like so. By default, like every other object, it has some assets, and these assets actually look alright. So what we have is the background, which is essentially like this little border around it here. Then we have the inner progress bar, which is this white part, and as you can see, it is fully white. And as I change the slider progress, only certain parts of the progress bar is shown, aka the inner progress bar, which is cool, so you don't have to code any of that yourself. Node style, this normal is this little button that you would slide, which will show you afterwards. Pressed is how you're locked well when you press the button, and disabled is how you're locked when you change the state to disabled, which you can do in code as well. I have my own images, so to change them, you need PNGs or JPEG, you can double click and just add them manually or import them here and then drag them see as you can see it's imported it because I didn't already have it so let me just quickly switch over the images for everything two more to go and here we go okay so yeah I'm going to leave you at 34% run it and just make it a little bigger. So if I slide it, look up, and if I press the button, it changes to the pressed node style. And I can slide it, but what happens is on a certain part of the blue bar, which is the inner progress bar, is shown. Again, you don't have to worry about any of this. This is the great thing about Cocos. It handles all these objects for you, or a lot of it for you. So that is it really you can set the default slider progress so if i would set it to 76% uh, and run it it's a lot higher than it was before i can change the state as well it's just gone bigger simply because of the image that i provided is a lot bigger but again that's just depending on what sort of image you want and as you can see i can't do anything because it's in its disabled state but by default it still has the initial slider progress which is 76 percent so let's just change it back to normal state in terms of implementing this and accessing it in code into your project we're not going to cover that because that's not within Coca Studio, but don't worry, we've got a link to that in the description so you can check that out and see how you can actually access a slider progress bar for your game scenario in your project. Plus, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.